Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be going through how you set up your own SolidWorks drawing template. Um, it comes in handy, saves you a lot of time and it also makes your drawings a bit more consistent and look a bit more professional. Uh, so just to get started, I'll just click New and I'm going to go to the drawing template that comes with SolidWorks. Just click off that. So in my opinion, this uh, template's awful. It, it looks amateurish, it's, it takes up a lot of room, it, there isn't much room for your model and it just to me, 99% um, of people that use SolidWorks don't want a border like this. So just to get started I'm going to go to sheet, right click and I'm going to go to properties. So this brings up your sheet properties and now you just click, I'd select the standard it's firstly the type of projection you want, so I'm going to have third angle projection um, and then I'm going to go down to A3 because I tend to uh, print off my drawings and I tend to draw in A3 and click apply changes. So now it's looking better already. Uh, we've got um, a isometric, sorry, an ISO A3 size, you've got a bit more room to put your drawing in, but same again. I'm not going to use any of this really, um, of this border. So at the minute, I if I try and highlight it, I can't select or edit any of the border. That's because it's got on a border layer. So to do that, you right click on the sheet and go edit sheet format. Another way of doing it is on the sheet tab down here, right clicking and going edit sheet format. So now, as you can see, it's gone blue. So I can highlight this and I'm going to delete it and start again and create my own custom border and then you've got this border here so if I go on the sheet and go into sheet format you've got a, cust a border there so what I'm going to do is delete that border. So from there I've got a blank canvas to create my own um, sheet border. So to draw out your own border is very simple all you have to do is sketch it like sketch it out like you normally would and because it's on the border layer it is part of your border so what I'd do is I'd have all my information at the bottom and then have um, a bill of materials on the right hand side. So from there, just create a few custom boxes. So I'll probably have the drawing number down here, maybe with the revision and maybe the project. So what I'd normally do is I'd, I'd fit, tinker around with this and get all the information I need on the border. So I'll have a revision table there maybe the company logo there um, and it is just as simple as sketching out what you require so I'll just draw four boxes here just to give you an idea so I'm gonna drag that down so I'm gonna make these all equal size so it's just same again using your sketch relations equal so now they're all equal size what I'm gonna do is just um, copy them so I'm gonna highlight them all Go up to move entities, go to the drop down menu, click copy entities. So now these are my project, um, sorry, my uh, project data, um, text and everything, what I need to put on the name and the properties of the, the border. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to annotation, text, I'm going to put in project number. and project code. So from here, um, you don't want to, f every time you create a drawing, you don't want to fill these in manually, you want to fill them in automatically. So what you do is you need to create custom properties. So if I come out of the drawing border and go to custom properties, and then I'm going to type new property and call it uh, project name, uh, sorry, project number, and it's text, it's not so you can have yes or no, a date, a number. So I'm gonna have text, I'm gonna, uh, sorry, I'm gonna have a number, I'm gonna call it 5560, just random number, and then I'm gonna type in um, project code. I'm 
gonna just for example, I'm gonna call this text. So project code might be T X five two nine. Sorry, eight four nine four. So that's just a run. So now these values are in the project code. So what you need to do. So what I need to do now is if I go back into editing my drawing sheet, go to text again, and I'm going to put text here. But this time I'm going to click link to property, and I'm going to call it. So these are all the properties from the SolidWorks drawing, but I'm going to call it project number. So now I'm going to come out of the drawing board. So now every time I change that in the custom properties, so I might just, just change it to another random number, it changes down there. So th that using linked custom properties is the best way to fill in your drawing border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this to what I want and I'm just going to jump ahead because you don't want to watch me creating text and custom properties and then and drawing out sketch boxes. So I'll come back and I'll show you my final drawing border, what I've created. So this is the final drawing um, border I've created. So I have, I've got a little revision table here. So this is not on the drawing border layer. So if you need to put a revision table in, all you do is go insert tables and clear revision table. It's obviously grayed out because I've already got one on. Then I've put my project, project code, material, total weight. So because this is for welding process pipe work, this border that um, so I've got my welding spec, coat inspect, test pressures, design pressures. And then over here, I've got all my drawing info so i've got drawing title spool so drawn by interactive cad which is me and my youtube channel um please subscribe if you approve um scale re revision got a little key here and i also have my bill of materials down here so just to show you this border in action obviously you'd put your company logo and address there um just to show you this border in action what i'm going to do is go to custom properties so for each one of these um properties that I'm going to put on the border, I have got um, a, a custom property in the list. So what I'm going to do is I'll just fill these in and I'm going to jump ahead and fill these in and just show you what it does. So what I've done there from my custom properties is I've just literally just typed it in and jumped ahead. So just so you didn't watch me typing in numbers. So now I'll, if you look, my border's completely blank. So I'm just going to click OK. And it's filled everything in. So now when I create when I cut so now every time I create another page, all this information's already filled in. So every time I open up a new drawing, I always just fill in the sheet and then it fills in my border, and then I've got consistency across all my drawings, and it's a, and it's very quick to do, and it and it has all the info required. So now you've got your drawing template set up how you'd like it uh, to be. What you need to do now is go down to your, to the save menu, go save as, and then go to drawing templates. It'll automatically take you to the SolidWorks um, templates file, and you just save it in there, and when you click new, your new rev will come up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.